Hey traders and investors, it's Serge Berger. Uh, markets continue to uh, be in a very tough spot here. Uh, latest news here was the weakness in European banks. Of course, that's nothing new, but we, now we have credit default swaps of uh, names like Deutsche Bank and Credit Suisse really looking tough. Um, and in fact, uh, those two stocks uh, potentially, or those two companies may actually end up being bailout candidates by their respective countries. Um, and nonetheless, there are some things we can look at here. Today, I want to look at ExxonMobil. I actually think ExxonMobil is acting well in relative terms and in absolute terms. So let me show you how we look at a trade like this that I think is setting up quite nicely right here. So before we look at um, ExxonMobil in absolute terms, let us look at, absolute, at ExxonMobil in uh, relative terms. So what we're going to do is we're going to take ExxonMobil and uh, divide it by the energy sector, the XLE, which is the ETF of the energy sector for the S&P 500. You can see there's been a lot of relative strength in ExxonMobil ever since uh, about uh, the spring of 2015. So that's nothing new. However, you can see that trend continues to accelerate and uh, as such is a pretty interesting phenomenon. Now, let's look at ExxonMobil and divide it by the S&P 500. You can see what's been taking place here is we've seen a lot more relative strength as of late. In fact, <clears throat> relative strength started taking hold around December of last year, but now with the recent move in ExxonMobil uh, in relative terms, you can see that we are seeing a pretty nice breakout here take place and I think after that double bottom, again, in relative terms, uh, this should be a quite a nice trade that I would be uh, would think could continue. Now, let's look at ExxonMobil in absolute terms. So this is just looking at the, the, the stock of ExxonMobil itself. And you can see what's been taking place here. We actually started breaking past some lines of resistance already. It was a choppy trade, but after a, a prolonged downtrend, one would ex expect something like this to take some time. Depending how you draw it, uh, you, you can see we actually did break above this downtrend in uh, last October, then started finding some good support here. And here we are. We are now finally seeing this stock overcome its 50 and 100 day moving averages a little bit better. And it's now looking to potentially break above the 200 day moving average, right? We also have some nice uh, tight diagonal resistance here. So I would think this stock uh, looks to also in absolute terms be able to move higher. If you want to do a basic Fibonacci retracement, you can see uh, we actually managed to hold I actually don't have it drawn in here, but it's the 73 or so percent retracement, which is sort of the last resort of, of, of support that actually managed to hold of the entire rally from last August into the November highs. So all in all, ExxonMobil continues to be something that looks pretty good. I should think if the stock can uh, hold above the $80.50 area for uh, a couple hours or so at least, or um, preferably on a daily closing basis, that then the path of least resistance uh, into that 85 area as a first price target should uh, start to uh, take hold. I'm holding a webinar on strategies to survive and thrive in a bear market. We're going to do that this Wednesday, the 10th of February. You can um, click on the link in the email that uh, would, will lead you to the sign up page. Then just um, sign up here. We're going to cover a whole bunch of things, some strategies on how to trade a bear market, how to survive, not only survive, but actually thrive in a bear market. I'm going to teach you how, uh, with the number one aspect that I think folks are not understanding uh, so well as far as bear markets goes, and that's putting a huge, this is, that's putting them in a huge disadvantage. So sign up for the webinar. It's a free webinar, by the way. It's uh, going to be this Wednesday, the 10th of February. As always, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.